Hey you guys, Joe and today we're watching right into episode 9 of Pretty Little Liars season 2. Slowly chugging our way through it. Uh, I'm enjoying the scene so far, I think I've said that like in the past like three episodes, but I am enjoying it. I think I think I prefer season 1 so far, but we were getting to know the characters at that time. Um, I did find the last episode as well to be the weakest of this season so far. So I, I don't think I, I don't think it's going to be like weaker than the last episode. I think it's just going to be a step up, hopefully. Um, I like the only thing I liked about the last episode is that they tried to give Emily a bit more character character story arc, but it just it kind of fell a bit flat, and all the of the, all the other characters weren't that interested in the last episode anyway. Uh, but we'll see what happens. There's uh, we're gonna have age shenanigans, I'm sure. I don't expect anything big or major to happen this episode. Just kind of more Hannah. That's why I mean. we need more than that, but I do love me some Hannah. Yeah, I could be completely wrong. This episode might blow blow me out of the wall. We'll wait and see. But if you enjoyed the like, if you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the full uncut reaction, as well as early uploads, a link to the Patreon will be down below. But for now, my friends, let's do this. Oh, I need to put my phone down because... Um, Aurea. These are like rare occasions. Oh, this is a dream. <laughs> Unlucky Ezra. I can't wait to see the Everybody move. Oh my god, you just... Like the dog to one of Sado, like, how you doing ladies? <laughs> you don't actually work here, I've never seen you before. Got a secret, can you keep it? Substance abuse. Why is he waving at you? Because <laughs> they're a thing. How have you not figured this out yet? Oh my god. This dinner that you didn't tell us about? No. Yes. Then why are you blushing? I do have to admit, Aria looks on point today. Today, like this wasn't filmed about six years ago. But. You weren't naked, Aria. Don't, don't overhype it. You weren't naked. He might be a killer. Jason is no more dangerous than we thought Toby was a few months ago. Okay, Toby was never Thank you. Was. Someone he said that. Could have doesn't mean he Props did. Props to Aria. I can you see you're attracted to him. And besides, why are you dreaming about Jason when you already have Ezra? Because Jason's don't. better. Have Ezra. Who wants Ezra? Just so give him to. When he went to Hollis. I don't know. Her mom. Like every time we start to take a step forward, someone or something gets in our way. That's true. Arya is spitting truths today. Is can we keep this conversation between us? I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her. to stay away from Jason. It's the best thing she's done for a long time. <laughs> no, you can't make her do that because she didn't stay away from Toby when they tried to make you do that. So your logic's flawed, Emily. I love you, but pipe down. Like, you know, see Spencer, she's in a bright red top, dude. <laughs> okay. I never understand that logic of leaving your key outside your house. Oh my god, that looks so stupid. Whatever. I'm gonna let it slide. She wasn't even that far away. <laughs> Dream. Yeah. Scott. I am now. I Ezra, go. That we could use some alone time. Ezra, untuck your shirt. How do you like this thing? Uh, it doesn't lie. What's going on here? Ezra, untuck your fucking. Sh I swear to God, if. Are they words that just came out of his mouth? Like one of the most attractive humans is like taking a shelf and you go, Oh man. That's funny. Oh man. <laughs> oh god. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. 
As for could you fuck? Thanks. Okay. Oh, I like his uh, cardigan thing. Hey. I do have to say. Hey, what's going on? Why is he back? Oh. Hey. Taking fashion tips off game. the cop who's stalking you. Yeah, no, he's not a cop. He's a private investigator. My mother. Oh. Okay, that makes more, more sense. Oh, are you going to make a play game? Oh, fuck it. Oh. You know I like the frosting. <laughs> you know what? At this point, I'd just be like, release him. I don't give a shit. Like, just fucking... Oh, my God. It's a control. Where's your hockey stick now? He's so... Dad burned it. In the fireplace. It's gone. Why is Dad so upset that Jason's back? All you need to know is that the dealer and his family is not to be trusted. Jason included. Yeah, you keep telling us that, but we've had no proof as to why Jason shouldn't be trusted. Like, literally, these past nine episodes have been, Don't trust Jason! Jason's evil! He's mysterious. We know he's mysterious, but like... Ah, uh, whatever. Somebody is watching us. Until he does something that's really shady, I'm just gonna like the guy. I didn't think you'd still be here. Are we picking up where we left off? Yeah, I thought we could finish... What do you mean, where you left off? Okay. You either finished or you What's didn't, this? mate. This. <laughs> is a gourmet supper from the finest vending machines in the building. Oh, well found mm -hmm. by that's a pretty romantic. Certified fresh till 2015. Oh, so it's out of date then. Would you like to decant the cream? Yeah, sorry, um, we gotta go. My curfew's 12.30. Okay. Twelve thirty. It's eight thirty. You've got another four hours. <laughs> What's this? My number. Oh, um, thanks. It's really not that shady, guys. This is so stupid. Oh, don't shake your head. It's because they're characters we've never seen before. What is going on with Oreo? Oh my god. Nah, Jason's in bed now, dude. Yep. <laughs> you can't stop thinking about me, can you? They're a bad couple. They even look better. So, Ori's storyline this episode is she's horny. <laughs> He's completely checked out. Well, then it is our job to get him to check back in. I'm actually with Byron. Again, Mike's going through a lot. But the thing is, a lot of people go through a lot and they don't go robbing other people's shit. Like, <laughs> so I don't, I sympathise with him, but I don't feel sympathy right. for him because on, open up. he's taking a bit of a piss now as well. So I'm going to go for, for the one time in the show with Byron. Look, can we just forget this happened and go to the movies? You slipped her your number wow. after I left. What did you expect me to think? I was caught up in the moment. That was me trying to connect with your friends. You know, until you give me a real answer. I, I can't do this anymore. Uh, hey, just why? What does A get out of this? You know what I mean? Oh, whatever. It's the point of the show, aren't I? That's so annoying. I mean, I'm just not sure that my parents want the whole world. No I didn't one. tell them about the police. I figured. Uh, thanks. I did tell him that you were worried about him. Worried was last week. Hmm. Ooh. Um. I'm <laughs> not. You know what? I have this huge history test tomorrow. Oh, All right, you just. Hi. And that's that. I <laughs> just saw you put your book down. Or you could have played along a bit, a bit better than that. Well, maybe she wants to make it up to you now. I can't make up for something like that. Look, I know that you're angry, but don't you want to at least hear her out? You have no idea what was going on in her life then. I don't want to know. Yes, you do. Caleb, it has tortured you for 12 years. Sure, breaking into a shed is a good idea. It's not breaking in if you have a key. 
No, that's not logical, Spencer. Jason blacked out the windows on his shed. Aren't you the least bit curious why? Maybe in and out and You just had a go at Mike for doing this. Well, those who didn't personally, but... This isn't for developing photographs. This is surveillance equipment. For his house. For spying on people. What are you saying? You think he was, he's been watching us this whole time? You think he's... He's home! Yeah, shout that so he can hear you. <laughs> oh my god. No, you did not just do that. It would have taken you off a second to grab the thing. Come on. Oh, she looks adorable. I can't watch that. So, what? You came here because you missed me? And I called my mom. You did? Yeah. And? We had a really good conversation. Well, what'd you talk about? Dude. And then she said that my... That my voice sounds just like my father's. Wow. Fuck. What else did she say? Just made more sense for me to go there. Went to California? Yeah. When? Tonight. Fuck off. Tonight? I know he has to do his thing, but... As in now? What does this mean for us? Do not do this. I swear to on the phone and, and I'll be back. When we be back. Not. <laughs> you see that now, but I've seen pictures of Montecito. One very good reason to come back. You. Can I at least drive you to the airport? Mom actually arranged a car for me. It's waiting outside. <laughs> what? I think it's great. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Don't cry, honey. It's like they just split up and it's like she's never gonna see him again, but she is. <laughs> Fuck. Nothing's going on. Just get the hell out of here before anyone sees us. Here's my problem with this, like they've they've had so long of this mystery line with that cop of um not Mona. What's the blind girl? Jenna. Uh, Jenna and Jason. That the payoff has to be good for it to have been worth all this build up. I guess like, oh shit, I didn't see that coming, but I just feel like it's not really gonna be. After all this build up. God. Okay, that felt ri there, I guess. I'm not feeling that, I do have to admit. I should have felt it, but. The pictures are gone, obviously. All the keys gone. Gone. Obviously! Why would he keep the key in the same place if, they, if he found your torch? Oh my god. You're, you're kind of amateur here, guys. Oh my god. It's all got. There you go. All of red rooms. There we go, guys. That is episode 9 of Pretty Little Liars Season 2. A hundred times better than the last episode. I really enjoyed that. That I think I enjoyed every story. Actually, no, I did enjoy every story. We'll go through like my least uh, most favorite, but standout scene, 
not Stella's story, but Stella's scene was Caleb and Hannah. That was like the most emotional I felt in a scene for Pretty Little Lives so far. I don't know, just seeing Caleb kind of like that was something we haven't really seen before. And then Hannah, uh, Hannah, it's not the same way it was when he left the first time because that time he just didn't say bye to Hannah. And it was kind of bittersweet because he had the wrong idea and she had the wrong idea. But this time it was like they both knew that they were going to see each other again and that they were both fine. It was just that he had to go, like, he had to go see his mom. Like, there was no way around that. And I'm glad they did that in this episode. Like, we found out at the start of the episode that um, his mom was looking for him. And they could have dragged that out for, like, at least three episodes. Or if they wanted to, just him, like, debating whether to contact his mom and then, like, that, all that shit going on and I'm sure we'll see more stuff between him and his mum later down the line but I'm glad they just had the start of the episode his mum was trying to find him and at the end of the episode he went through the course of debating whether to call her called her and now he's gone off to visit her that was just, I think that was really well paced and just yeah so Hannah's story was probably my favourite out of the lot mainly because of that scene but the rest of it was when you think about it Hannah crossed with Caleb uh, when you think about it they could have really dragged it on if they wanted to uh, the weakest for me was Spencer. She did some stupid decisions in this episode. I, I love the character, but she just seemed really amateur <laughs> this episode for some reason. Uh, like, surprised that the key wasn't there and then dropping the flashlight, but then being like, oh, just leave it. It's like, or don't. Spying on Jason in a red shirt, even though he didn't spot her, but whatever. Uh, yeah, she didn't really do anything interesting. And they just, like, she just had Emily there just to be make her more relevant in a way. So have Emily do something as well. Then, so yeah, hers was definitely the weakest this episode. No one knows good as she was last episode. Then I'd say Emily. Yeah, I'd say Emily. I'm trying to think between Emily and Arya. So yeah, we'll go with we'll Spencer. Then Emily was the second weakest. Uh, I did like how she had to like get the number. It's just, it just kind of basically another task from A to fuck everything up in her life because why not? It's like A's just targeting Emily at the moment. Um... He seems to do that. Like, he will target one person, focus on them for about four episodes, then focus on someone else instead of just, like, messing around with all of them at the same time. Like, very rarely he does that. So, yeah, Emily didn't really do much, but it, it was cool, like, seeing a... Not cool seeing a relationship mess up, but it was, I don't know, something different, I guess, and it gave more to a story. And I like I like um, Rebecca from The Vampire Diaries, so I feel kind of bad on her behalf. Then I'd say Arya, but Arya also crossed him with kind of Mike and Byron and Arya's mum and dad. Uh, I am curious what's going on with Mike. Hopefully, like I said, I don't I don't think him breaking into houses is like the best idea, but I, like, I'm curious and I do hope he'll be all right. We'll wait and see. I don't love his character or anything, but I don't know. Mate. Hopefully he can come out of it. And then Arya, I didn't feel the like kiss thing with Jason because he, he did seem a bit weird when he was all the photos of her. And then it just felt a bit rushed anyway. But all her dream sequences with Ezra were funny. Uh, and then her, like, debating who she should be with. Just like, yeah, classic horror, basically. But she was, she was bearable this episode. I enjoyed the story. And then, obviously, my best was Hannah. Just that Caleb and Hannah scene was perfect. Absolutely perfect. And then, as I explained earlier, it's just a really well-paced her story. So, yeah, right for the episode, I'll probably go a low 8. Maybe, like, an 8.1 out of 10. Just, just above an 8. Yeah, really, really enjoyed it, and I'm excited to see what happens next. So hopefully, like, Caleb doesn't call at some random point, like, yeah, I'm staying with my mum now, or something stupid like that. Hopefully he does come back, not next episode, but at least in a few episodes of time he does come back. And hopefully he's not, like, some changed man or something, we'll wait and see. But, yeah, tons better than the last episode, and I really enjoyed it. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, enjoy, let me know if you saw the episode down below. And if you do want the full uncut reaction, as well as early uploads... A link to page one will be down below as well. And until next time for episode 10. We are almost halfway through the season. Until next time for episode 10. Thanks for watching. Peace.